Hi, Steve here at ACK, and today I wanted to take a couple minutes to talk to you about the different styles of carts that help you move your uh, kayak or your sup board or your canoe from your vehicle down to the water's edge. There's lots of different ways to do this, and some of them are uh, more beneficial from a weight capacity standpoint. Some of them are easier to load and unload, and I just wanted to show you those differences and give you some details on how they work. Um, what you see on the kayak right now is what I call a tail dragger and that particular cart plus this molly cart here, they're both tail draggers. The nice thing about tail draggers are they go on to the back of the boat, they go on real easily, but the downside is as you pick up that boat from the bow, your body is supporting all the weight that's in that kayak. So the tail draggers, they don't support a lot of weight, but they let you maneuver the boat. The next cart I have here is the scupper cart. And the scupper cart fits in your sit-on-top kayaks and it fits through the scupper holes. Depending on where the scupper holes are placed on the boat, that could be at the tail or it could be in the middle of the boat. So depending on that location depends on how much weight this cart supports. Next is what I would call the center carry cart or the platform cart. There's lots of versions out there. We carry six or seven different versions of this cart alone. The beauty of this cart is you can place it anywhere you want on the boat. Ideally, if you put it in the center of the boat, the cart is carrying all of that weight and all you're doing is supporting the bow of the boat as you direct it around to where you need it. Uh, another benefit to the center balance cart is that you can load and unload the boat from that cart uh, without unloading your boat. Scupper carts, the boat has to be turned onto their side and so if you have gear in the boat, it's going to fall out of the cart. So now I'll go into a little bit of detail on how these carts work. So as I said, uh, one of the cart options is what I call a tail dragger. I call it a tail dragger because it ends up on the end of the boat and you can load it bow or stern depending on what's convenient or depending on where the weight of the boat is, of, of the weight in the boat is. But remember that the tail draggers don't support a lot of the boat weight or a lot of the gear weight. So if you're using the tail dragger, you may not want to load the, the bow of the boat up. If you're going to put gear in it, put it on the same end as the tail dragger. And the way the tail dragger works is really simple. You're just picking up the boat and wheeling it this way. But as I pick this up, I'm supporting the majority of the weight. There are many versions of the tail draggers. I have uh, the one on here is called the Fat Boy. It works really well on wide boats. It also works on canoes. Uh, it installs and comes on and off really easy. It also collapses down. The wheels pop off if you want to store it. This is a really minimalist cart called the Molly. Works pretty much the same way. Slide it under the stern of the boat or the bow of the boat. Get it balanced. Clip it on and cinch up my strap. I have a super minimalist cart that stores really easy in the boat. Downside to this cart would be it's got small wheels. They're hard plastic wheels, so it's not going to be really good for off-road terrain. So those are the tail dragger carts. So the next style of carts are the scupper carts. Scupper carts only work on sit-on-top boats because they're designed to go inside the scupper holes of the boats. Most of them are adjustable, so they can be adjusted for the width between the scupper holes. This particular one uses a locking knob. The nice thing about the scupper carts is they're really compact and when you take them apart, you're left with half of the cart uh, that can easily stow inside the boat. As I said before, one of the downsides of the carts is upon installation, you have to tilt the cart on its side. I'm sorry, you have to tilt the boat on its side and when you do, if you have gear in the boat, the gear is going to tumble out of the boat. So to install these, first thing you want to do is make sure that they fit the width of the scupper holes. and. I can do that from the top to make sure I have them adjusted properly and as, I, as you can see that fits in there fine. So now I take the boat, put it on its side, load my cart into the holes, and then I move my boat up on top of the cart. And so now I've loaded my boat onto the scupper cart, very similar uh, to a tail dragger in that it's offset to the back of the boat. I do have some more scupper holes here in the center of this particular boat, so I could move it forward, and if I did, it would support more of the weight. But having that there, I just pick up the bow of the boat, and I can wheel my cart around, uh, wheel my boat around on the scupper cart. When I'm ready to offload it, again, I have to turn the boat onto its side, there being the downside of these carts. 
where I might lose my gear. But scupper carts are super versatile, work with virtually any sit on top, but the boat has to have scupper holes for this particular cart to work. So lastly, we have the center mount carts. Uh, there are a lot of different versions of this one. This, this is a, a slightly smaller one. There's larger versions. Some of them like this one have a kickstand. So you can see this is staying upright because of the kickstand that's holding it up. Makes it a lot easier to facilitate loading. And the nice thing about the center load carts or center mount carts are that you can place them anywhere along the hull of the boat. So if you put them in the center of the boat, they're gonna carry the brunt of the weight of your boat and of the gear. And the easiest way to load these up is to set it up near the center of the boat where you want it loaded and slightly on an angle to the boat. Um, it comes with straps and I'll show you how to put those on in just a moment. But I'm gonna pick up the boat and move it to the cart and that's why that angle was important. But now I have it, I have the boat on the cart. It's about where I'd like it. And then I'm gonna use these straps to secure the cart to the boat. This is the trickiest process of the cart because I'm going to run each strap around one of the posts of the cart over the boat. And once I get them both set up, I'll move to the other side. And it's important that we load it this way and we strap it this way because this is what's going to keep the cart from moving out from underneath the boat. Once I get that strap on the other side, I go around the other post of the cart, the one that equals the post that's on the opposite side. And in doing so, I'm creating a nice, secure, tight fit. And when I tighten this down, I now have a cart that's strapped to the center of my boat and I can wheel this thing around. The pneumatic tires mean it's good for all terrain. It also collapses down nice and tight. So that's the benefits of the center mount carts. Probably the best weight bearing carts, a little clunkier, or a little bigger than the rest of the carts, but they do the job really well. So there are lots of different carts out there. We hit on you know three of the top ones, but I just wanted to point out that there are specialty carts like this one made by Native, which fits its multi-sport uh, kayaks, kayaks with the propel drives, and it's made specifically for that boat, but fits that boat very well. And I also have this over here. This is called the Soulmate. It's made specifically for uh, SUP boards, and you strap your SUP board to this very similarly as you would a center mount cart. So lots of ways to get your gear to the water. Carts make it easy. Make sure the cart has the capacity that you're looking for. And if you want to store it in the boat, make sure it's going to fit in or on the boat before you uh, take it out there so you don't have to worry about what you're going to do with it. If you have any questions, check us out at www.ack.com or send our customer service folks a message. Thanks.